Honolulu City Council members have narrowed the list of candidates to fill the remainder of Charles DeJue's City Council term from 27 applicants to six. Now, DeJue resigned his fourth District Council seat from Hawaii Kai to Waikiki last month after he won a special election to fill a congressional vacancy. Now, the shortened list includes former Honolulu Police Chief Lee Donahue, former lawmaker and current school board member Donna Ikeda, attorney Jonathan Lai, the choice of Charles DeJue, also Carl Takamura, executive director of the Hawaii Business Roundtable, former Deju chief of staff Lori Wingard, and former state house member Brian Yamane. There wasn't one person that everyone felt this is the right person. And so having an additional six days to meet with them, talk with them, allow the public to testify was, I think, a, a good thing for the district. Council members will select DeJue's replacement from the narrowed down list at next Wednesday's full council meeting. Candidates are being encouraged to promise that they will not run for the seat in 2010. And if there is no decision, then Mayor Mufi Hanneman gets to make that decision. Now, newly elected Hawaii Congressman Charles DeJue has been in our nation's capital for about a week now. And joining us live this morning from Washington, D.C. is Congressman DeJue. Good morning, Congressman. Good morning, Mahia. Well, you just heard our story about the city council and uh, Jonathan Lai, who's an attorney, is your pick. He's been a friend of yours since intermediate school. Why do you think he's the best person for this job? Well, uh, let me begin, Mahia, and just uh, very clearly state, I respect that this decision is ultimately left to my former colleagues on the Honolulu City Council, and I respect whoever they decide to select to replace me on the council. And whomever uh, takes my seat on the City Council, I will uh, work cooperatively with them to make sure that the public is served and any transition is seamless. Uh, with that said here, I think all of the six individuals uh, who were narrowed down to yesterday by the council are good individuals. I have a slight preference uh, for Jonathan Lai because I know him very well. I think he shares the same views uh, on fiscal responsibility that I've advocated through my seven and a half years on the council, and I know he'll do a good job. But that's not to say anything negative about any of the other nominees, and certainly, again, I want to reiterate that I look forward to working with whomever my colleagues, former colleagues on the city council select to replace me on the city council. But, Congressman, you, of course, have a special insight into this matter, and the council chair, Todd Apo, <laughs> says that they just couldn't pick the best candidate. And if they can't pick the best candidate uh, by next week, uh, Mayor Mufi Hanneman will make the decision. What would this mean for the council, especially well, with this critical vote on the budget coming up? You know, Mahia, I hope my colleagues on the city council uh, are able to find consensus. I think it's important that the legislative branch of government maintain its independence from the executive branch of government. It is important that we have separation of powers between the city council and the mayor's office. And I'm confident that by next week, Wednesday, uh, the eight remaining members of the Homeland City Council will come to some form of consensus as to who to replace me on the council. And you're exactly right that, unfortunately, if they're not able to do so, uh, the fourth council district will be missing a vote on the very, very important decision on the city budget on June 9th. Now, uh, speaking about the special election and now the primary election coming up, uh, Ed K yeah. sent shockwaves throughout the state by dropping out of the race. So now it's pretty much going to be mm -hmm. you and Colleen Hanabusa in the November general election mm -hmm. for Congress. And you have said that with Case dropping out of the race, that's actually a good thing yeah. for your campaign because you think that his voters will cross over to your side. But when you talk to those political analysts, they say that this is actually a bad thing for your campaign because if there was a bitter <laughs> primary between Hanabusa and Case, that would have drained their resources, uh, making things better for you. You know, Mahia, this is something that's ultimately left up to the voters of Hawaii, and they're the ones who are going to be the final decision makers on this. I know there's a lot of different ways we can spin this particular race, but for me, I have always pledged that I am going to be the congressman from Hawaii. Hawaii first and foremost, above and beyond anything else. And that's the message I'm going to take into the November election. I think when you look at what happened with this special election, uh, nearly 70 percent of the people of Hawaii rejected the establishment and said they wanted something different. These are the individuals who, of course, I'm going to be reaching out to and speaking towards in the upcoming November election. Uh, political analyst Neil Milner has said he can't imagine uh, those case voters crossing over to your side, the Republican <laughs> side, because uh, he said that your votes have proven that you are conventionally Republican. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, Mahia, the way I respond to that is very simple. Back in January, a poll was done by the media and said I was going to poll at, I was polling at 17 percent of the vote. Uh, every political pundit in town said Charles DeJoux has no shot at winning this election. Indeed, that this was a solid Democratic seat. It was purchased and owned as the sole private property of the Democratic Party. No chance, no reason for any outsider to apply. Yet, here I am. Every single race I've ever run for office, whether it be for the legislature or for the city council or for the United States Congress, I've run and won with enormous amounts of hard work built around a strong message of fiscal responsibility. That's what I've run in the past, and that's where I'm going to run this race in the future. Now, Congress is in a break right now, and uh, you're going to go back to work officially, actually, after being sworn in. Uh, what are some of the issues that you're going to be uh, tackling first as uh, Congress returns from recess? Yeah, Congress, we're going back into session on Tuesday. I mean, uh, we need more private sector jobs, not more public sector programs. And one of the big issues in front of Congress right now is what's going on with our spending, what's going on with the budget deficit, and how we're handling this ballooning national debt. One of the biggest problems going on in Congress uh, is we don't have a budget. Uh, the U.S. House of Representatives, which is supposed to have passed the budget uh, months ago, still has not done so. I look forward to working with my colleagues in the Congress to make sure that gets taken care of. Uh, shortly and hopefully we can get a budget for the people of Hawaii and the American people real real soon because this is so important if we do not take care of our budget situation it is going to take care of us one doesn't have to look any further than what's happening in Greece right now to see what happens at ballooning budget deficits and congressman one of the big issues that you talked about was uh, basically putting your office together and uh, finding where the bathrooms <laughs> were on Capitol Hill did you take care of those issues yeah Yes, uh, Mahan, and I'm sorry, I'm continuing to have audio problems here. Uh, yes, we, I've been able to figure out and beginning to get my staff together. What most congressmen have uh, over a period of two months uh, as a transition, unfortunately, I've only had two days to really get together. Uh, but, you know, I'm working hard uh, on behalf of the people of Hawaii. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the best job that I can. And every single day that I have the privilege of serving the people of Hawaii, I'm never, ever going to forget that I have to prove that the trust that the people have given to me is deserved. All right, Congressman Charles DeJoux joining us live from Washington, D.C. We really appreciate talking to you this morning, and we will talk to you again Thank in the you future. very much, and I, I look forward to being back in Honolulu and talking to you live in Honolulu again real soon. All right, we'll see you then. And